Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my bullet journal. So if you don't know what bullet journaling is, it was a trend that happened in around 2015. So basically what the bullet journal is, is a bunch of blank pages with just dots on it. And the dots are useful because you can create lines and things like that for structure within the page. But at the same time, it's completely blank so you can write whatever you want. A lot of people like to do to-do lists and calendars. The appeal for me really was that I can stay creative with it and it'll be something for me to do while at the same time I can keep myself organized. Here's the one that I got but of course there's so many different types and brands of bullet journals that you can choose from. Now when I draw in mine I just use these felt tip pens that you can see right here, some colored pencils, and sometimes I use sharpies but I have to be careful with those because um, they can bleed through the pages pretty easily. So the first thing that I have in here is my index. Um, I'm going to be filling this out as my pages go on. So first I blocked off the calendar space and then drew the flowers around it. At the top it says April showers, dot dot dot, and at the bottom it says bring me flowers. And then I drew flowers all around the outside borders just to make the calendar look pretty. My second pages are right here. So I have on the left hand side some Sudoku puzzles, which I just thought looked kind of cool. Um, and it's just something fun for me to do if I have nothing else to do. Down the center I have different constellations that you can see in the sky in the month of May. And keeping with that starry constellation theme, the quote around the outside says, The evening star is shining bright, so make a wish and hold on tight. There's magic in the air tonight and anything can happen which is from Disney's Princess and the Frog, which is my favorite Disney movie. Next to the right hand side, I have my mood mandala. I saw this online somewhere and I thought it was really cool. So I've been coloring it in as the months have gone on. The, you can see the different colors correspond to different moods at the top of the page. My next page is just this to-do list um, for a whole week and then there was a cool quote on the left hand side and a graphic that I found online on the right hand side. And then I just cut some pieces of scrapbooking paper for the bottom corners. My next page is the June 2018 calendar. And um, I have some succulent stickers throughout the pages. And it says stay sharp at the bottom, which I thought was really cute. And then there's my calendar just helping me stay organized. My next pages are my travel-ish pages, I guess. So on the left-hand side, I have a map of the East Coast, and it says, Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Now, I really liked this quote because um, I actually am from Maryland, but I go to college in Florida. So um, I have red dots connecting the two with an airplane because that's the route that I fly on. And on the right hand side, it I wanted a page that doubled as art and a to-do list. So I drew um, as close as I could get to blueprints of a Boeing 747, which is a standard passenger plane, which I fly on between home and school. And then I just put a to-do list in the middle. And the last page that I have for right now is my travel in flags page, I guess you could call it. So I just wanted to do some pretty art. So around the outsides, I have a bunch of flags from states that I visited within the US, as well as countries that I've been to outside of the US. So you can see Maryland's flag on the top left corner. And then there's a quote on it that says, Nada desarrolla tanto la inteligencia como viajar. Which in English, that means basically Nothing develops intelligence as much as traveling does. So I love to travel and this quote really just spoke to me in Spanish. I thought it sounded beautiful. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed um, my videos so far. I'll be coming up with some new ones soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to give updates on where my bullet journal is and how it's looking. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.